Hello there, it's Sunday the 29th of November 2015. It's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So, um, certainly safe to say that uh, we are fast approaching winter here in Essex UK. Still got good temperatures, it's around 10 degrees today, which in my opinion for this time of year is good and it's enabling a few things to still keep growing in this polytunnel. But uh, you can probably hear it's quite windy and apparently next week we are going to be expecting a lot of rain. But uh, that's about right for the time of year and um, good thing is when uh, things aren't growing so fast it gives us a lot of time to think about what we can do. So my plan for next year is to have this polytunnel completely as a no dig. Now no dig is good in my opinion because it improves soil structure specific especially if you do it over a period of time and it results generally in stronger growth for plants not to mention the fact that um, if you do this it can be easier physically as opposed to digging or something like that but uh, one of the problems that you can have is being able to source the equipment or the ingredients or whatever you want to call it the composition of the beds now what you need to do you need to have a good source of um, horse manure or cow manure something like that a um, good source of good quality compost you can either buy it or ideally make it yourself in order to cut costs and you need to be able to get some cardboard as well so they're the things that you uh, will need for this so as you know that um, the majority of the polytunnel here is done in these raised beds and so you can see what we've got there raised beds are good because uh, enables you to control the bay much better and as well it looks nice neat and tidy and we all like a bit of that now looking at this bay here it looks a bit rough in here at the moment to be honest as i've said before in previous videos i've been so busy with work that uh, i've not had much time to, uh, to get out here but it's okay i've got a lot of time off coming up soon I'm very happy to say, so I'm going to be getting out here. So take this bed for example, now you may remember I put some of these carrots in. Now these carrots are doing quite well actually, I'm quite happy. I mean they're not at uh, you know, any real carrot size on them yet, but that's okay because uh, I'm expecting to get these early next year. So what I'm going to be doing is, is weeding it and that will then allow the carrots to produce. Now this bay here this is very good, I'm very happy about this. I mean, these are the Chinese cabbages. Sorry, not Chinese cabbages, the Chinese Orient, the Oriental radishes. And looking at them, you can see they've got a nice bit of radish on there ready to eat. It's starting to go to seed now. And the Chinese cabbages are doing very well, starting to look almost cabbagey like. So, this bay here is the one in particular that uh, I wish to rejuvenate into a no dig bed so what's going to happen is obviously these tomato plants the frost has got them now they're dead they're going to come out and go in the compost heap to start to form compost for subsequent years and that will of course then leave a bay so what I'm going to do is blind it off with cardboard this will help to stop weeds and I will then put horse manure and then compost over the top and next year set directly into that. So the worms will work that in over the winter, winter period and the cardboard will become part of the soil structure which will help to hold water. So of course in a polytunnel, because it does get very hot in here, I mean up to 40 degrees I believe it gets up to in the, uh, in the heat of the summer so it dries out very quickly so that will help to uh, keep the beds moist. And this here as well, this bay here, I'm going to do the same. Take these all up, put them in the compost bin, and then blind it off with cardboard, put in, put some horse manure over the top, and then some compost over the top and set directly into that. So basically I'm going to be doing a series now on uh, how I'm going to do this, like a step-by-step -step approach. You may wish to follow this, you may not. Uh, Traditionalists don't tend to like uh, no dig, I've found out, because uh, people do seem to be obsessed with digging nowadays, which is, you know, it's okay, good exercise if that's what you want, but uh, if you're damaging the soil structure over a period of time, then you don't really want to be doing that because you want your beds, you need to look at sort of gardening if you can as like a, a long term thing, and you want to work on improving your soil over a period of years in order to produce better quality plants that's my opinion anyway um, a classic example of this is if you look at farmers fields now um, these are you know used intent intensely for cropping they tend to put uh, not so much organic matter on them now they do sometimes not as much as they once did they use a lot of sort of artificial fertilizer and if you notice that when 
you've got the plough going along. Years ago, you used to see a lot of uh, birds eating the worms behind the plough. You don't tend to see that now because there's simply not as many worms in the soil around those areas that there used to be because worms like good nutritious soil and a good, uh, a good load of worms that you can see in your soil is a good indication that your soil is of good quality because of course that means they're eating and the uh, natural organic process is carrying, carrying on which is what we wish to uh, achieve ideally. So um, if I don't get back to your questions I do apologise as I've stated before but um, I have, uh, I've got a lot of time coming, off, coming up soon, I'm going to spend a lot more time out in the garden and um, hopefully I can uh, help you guys out a little bit more if you need it. Okay, we'll all speak soon and uh, looking forward to Christmas and take care and we will speak soon.